This is Karen. She is eight years old, and she is on her way home from school. Every day she passes this door with a wonderful candy counter, and every once in a while her mother gives her a dime for a treat. And Karen always stops at the store, even if it's only to window shop. Of course, Karen's parents have told her never to take money or candy from a stranger, or let him touch her. But right now, it looks as though she has forgotten these basic rules. But Karen's friend, the sales girl, hasn't forgotten and wonders who the stranger is that is buying candy for her and why. Karen, having already forgotten one of her parents' warnings, finds it easy to forget another. Never to go anywhere with the stranger or accept rides with people you don't know, no matter what they tell you. This time, Karen is lucky. Her friend does what you should do in a situation like this. She takes down the license number of the car and the description of the stranger and calls the police. Her information is sent out by police radio. officers all over town. So that they can be on the lookout for the car with Karen and the stranger. Karen's mother is beginning to get worried. She is waiting and waiting. But no Karen. She knows just how long it takes Karen to get home from school, but she is already half an hour late. Because Karen's friend remembered to take down the car's license number, everything turned out all right. And Karen, of course, knew her telephone number so that the policeman could call her mother right away to come and get her. My name is Mrs. Perkins, and I am a policewoman. We had a while to wait for Karen's mother to come and get her, so this was a good chance for me to tell Karen of some of the dangers children her age must be on the lookout for. Most people in the world are good and nice, but unfortunately, there are some strange ones. And these strange ones are sick. Not sick with a cold or measles or anything like that, but sick in the mind. We call them mentally ill. Now many boys and girls enjoy playing in areas like this. They explore interesting places and make up games to play by themselves.
but you never know when there might be a strange one around. Sometimes we become so involved in what we are doing that we can't see the danger. And even if this little boy had seen the man, how could he know that he was a strange one? There's no way to tell. The strange ones look just like everyone else. It is wise to avoid playing in deserted areas like this, especially when you are alone. I explained to Karen that you should not play in any area where there are no other people around, and you must also be on your guard even when you are downtown. Like this little girl was running an errand for her mother. When the stranger stops her and asks directions, she politely and courteously gives him the information. But when he asks her to go with him, of course she says no, politely excuses herself and goes on her way. Never go with strangers when they ask for directions. And if there is any trouble, just call out for help. And if you see any of your friends about to make a mistake, you can help. It's always a good idea when you go to the park, or the movies, or even to the store, to take along a friend. And when you are at the park, play in the areas that are set aside as playgrounds. Do not hang around the restrooms. And if you see any of your playmates about to get into trouble, get help from a police officer or someone you know. Just as these children did, they ran and found the little girl's mother. not only have to look out for yourself, but for the little children who don't know any better and can't understand that some people are sick in the mind. There are so many ways you can get into trouble with the strange ones, and one of the quickest is by hitchhiking. It is a wise young man who knows not to hitch rides with strangers. There are so many things that could happen other than you're getting a quick ride home. The man may be drunk and get into an accident, or he may be just a bad driver, or a strange one with no intention of taking you home. If you ever see any of your friends hitchhiking and cannot stop them, get the license number of the car. And remember not to take shortcuts, especially through alleys or empty side streets. know when a strange one might approach you, and it may never happen, but it is far better to be on the safe side. Be on your guard and know what to look out for. Like this little girl in the movie theater. She remembers what her parents told her. Never let a stranger touch you or put his hands on you. She told the usher in the theater, and this man won't bother anyone again. I think Karen can see now how foolish she was. And if it hadn't been for a friend, remembering the right thing to do, how much trouble she might have been in. Karen will remember never to accept gifts or rides from strangers, and now she knows to stay clear of deserted places. 
Well, Karen's adventure has made her a wiser little girl, and I hope you have become wiser too. Mother gives her a dime for a treat. And Karen always stops at the store, even if it's only to window shop. Of course, Karen's parents have told her never to take money or candy from a stranger or let him touch her. But right now, it looks as though she has forgotten these basic rules. But Karen's friend, the sales girl, hasn't forgotten and wonders who the stranger is that is buying candy for her and why. Karen, having already forgotten one of her parents' warnings, finds it easy to forget another. Never to go anywhere with a stranger or... This is Karen. She is eight years old, and she is on her way home from school. Every day she passes this store with a wonderful candy counter, and every once in a while her except rides with people you don't know, no matter what they tell you. This time Karen is lucky. Her friend does what you should do in a situation like this. She takes down the license number of the car, and the description of the stranger and calls the police.